Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to use a crock pot slow cooker. In this video, I'll be going over the basic steps for using a tool just like this. Now, crock pot is the brand, but there are many other slow cookers and they all work in a very similar manner, okay? So it might not be called a crock pot specifically that you're trying to use, but a slow cooker usually works in a similar manner. So let's get right into the video. First and foremost, you wanna plug it in, okay? You wanna make sure that you remove the lid and you wanna load up any food that you wanna be cooking inside of there. So load it up, put the lid back on, and then you're ready to start slow cooking, okay? So a slow cooker is really simple in its design. It basically cooks at a relatively low temperature and it's designed to cook things over a long period of time. Um, so basically it just, it does what it says. It is a slow cooker. They're super easy to use. They usually only have a, a few buttons to work with. So as you can see right here, you can basically select the temperature and the time essentially. So to start it up, I'm gonna push select and you can see now it's low temperature, so that'll cook at the low temperature or the high temperature, okay? Just to be clear, low or high. And I'll show you about this in just a moment. And now if I wanted to select the time, I could push the uh, timer button right here. And you can see I'm going up in half an hour intervals. I could literally just choose however much time, so four hours, for instance, that I wanted it to cook for. And that's it, and you're good at this point. That's it, you're done, right? And now it would begin to cook for the required time. Um, it's really simple. Um, you obviously want to look for potentially a start button. On some slow cookers, there might be a start button. On this one, as you can see, there is not. So now that I've selected it, it is on a high temperature and it is cooking, it's going to be cooking for four hours. And obviously you would put, make sure you have your food in there. Um, very simple. Uh, that is the most basic use of it. However, there is another option, which is warm down here. Um, so the warm option is basically going to be uh, warming the food only. So let's say you finish cooking, okay? You've done your four hours or however long you want to let it cook for. And you just want to keep the food warm because you want to eat it over the course of the next, you know, half an hour. And everyone's going to be grabbing from it at a different time. Then uh, what you would do is you would turn it to warm mode. And as you can see right there, it's the timer has gone down to three hours and 59 minutes now. I just wanted to leave it to show you that, Okay. So um, let's say once again, I wanted to go to warm mode. I would push select again. Now the timer went off because it's no longer cooking. It's just keeping it warm, okay? When you're done and you're finished using your crock pot slow cooker or whatever slow cooker you're using, you just push off and it turns it off and that's it and you're good to go. And obviously when you're done, you can unplug it to make sure that you're good to go. Uh, I always unplug my slow cooker once I've finished using it, just as an added precaution. Uh, but that's, that's like I said, that's my personal preference. That's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.